Hello dear traders, you are watching weekly link up with me, Tahmina Salomova. Today we are going to discuss further dynamics of the major currency pair in the forex market. And as always, Insta Forex expert from Serbia, Petar Ikimovic, is going to help us with that. Let's start from the most popular trading instrument on the forex market, EURUSD. Peter, hello. As we know, the ECB left its monetary policy unchanged and now traders are focused on the US Fed meeting results, which will be published on Wednesday evening. How will the coming events influence EURUSD behavior? Hello, dear traders. I'm expecting upward price on the EURUSD since I found a successful test uh, of supply in low volume, which is clear sign for me the professional money and they're interested in the upward price. According to the daily time frame, I found a strong upward trend channel and the price successfully tested the medium trend line of that channel. The ECB uh, kept the, rain, uh, the interest rates unchanged and that also helped the euro um, and helped with the demand of the euro. So again, watch for buying opportunities on the dips and the first take profit level is set at the, pr at the price of 1.1450 where I found the previous swing high, which right now acting like resistance. So again, watch for buying opportunities on the dips. Finally, trading sentiment has changed on GBP USD pair. Will the demand for GBP remain the same next week? I'm expecting upward price on the GBP USD. I found a very, very strong um, reverse or inverse head and shoulder formation um, on the and on the bottom uh, according to the weekly time frame and prices press broke out the neckline of that and the shoulders formation so um, you know the short term uh, and even the long term traders reversed their position previously uh, and they started to buy the GBP USD according to the short term perspective I found also the bullish flag according to the one hour and four hour time frame and we got successful breakout of the bullish flag. The first take profit level is set around the price of 1.4500 and the second take profit level of GBPSD is set around the 1.4675. Again, due to the strong uh, inverse head and shoulders formation in the background according to the weekly time frame and according to the shorter term time frames like 4 hour and 1 hour I found the bullish flag and a strong upward trend I really advise you to watch for buying this on the dips. First take profit level 1.4500. Will the Japanese yen hold gains? I'm expecting a lower price of the USD Japanese yen. Um, we got a corrective phase on the USD Japanese yen last week and price rallied, uh, rallied about a few hundred pips and we almost tested the 110.40 where I found a critical resistance. Um, uh, level for the US Japanese yen. Uh, since we are in strong downward trend and we got a strong head and shoulders formation according to the daily and weekly time frame, I advise you to watch for selling opportunities on the rallies. So any uh, very low demand day um, with a weak close according to the daily bar will probably um, um, bring sellers on the market. The first take profit level um, first downward target on the US Japanese yen is set around 105.50. So watch for this level of potential scaling out position. Again, the strong downward trend, the breakout of the trading range. Um, so there is a potential redistribution phase by Richard Wyckoff analysis. And um, again, uh, all the, all, this all indicates that we may see the further downward price. So watch for selling opportunities on the rallies. Before we finish, I would like to say a few words about AUDUSD, which is supported by positive news from China, where final acceleration of manufacturing growth is observed. The OC is supported by the rally on the commodity markets. Do you think traders will be still interested in the Australian dollar next week? I'm expecting upward price on the Australian dollar, US dollar. Uh, basically, we, the, the Australian dollar uh, created a strong trading range and strong accumulation phase on the bottom. Um, and we got a very, very successful breakout of that trading range a few weeks ago. So that action marked this cur currency pair upward and the strong holders 
the, the, the smart money, they're interesting, the upward price of the Australian dollar. The rising gold also um, helped the Australian dollar upward movement. And when they go together, this is a very, very strong. So we have commodities going higher and also Australian dollar following that. Um, also, we created the base according to the four hour time frame. So after that accumulation phase, we saw also another base, the flat base and the successful breakout of the flat base, which is really, really uh, confirmed that um, smart money, that they're interesting, the upward price. So what for buying is on the dip, selling looks very risky. The first take profit level is set around 1 point, uh, pardon, 0 0.8050. And the second take profit level is set around 0 0.860 because this area near the 0 0.8050, uh, uh, there is a big swing low in the in the background, which right, which will probably act like strong resistance um, at this stage. So watch for a buying opportunities on the dips. Peter, thank you for your recommendations and see you next week. You watch Sinsta Forex TV with me, Tahmina Salomova and technical analysis expert Petar Ikimovich. We wish you successful traders. See you.